everyone and welcome to a very relaxed ASOS and Topshop haul video today or potentially two videos because I have bought so much stuff that I'm surrounded by shopping bags quite literally I have one, two ASOS boxes which is very scary I've never ordered so much that it's come in two boxes before um, I also have a Topshop bag and a further ASOS bag so we have quite a lot to get to I say it's going to be a very relaxed and casual haul video because the lighting as you can see is not perfect it was pure blue skies a few minutes ago and now it's grey and rainy and my soft boxes are up in the loft so this is the lighting we're going to have to deal with um, and also because I'm going to film my trying on sections in a little bit more of an informal way so hopefully you guys like it if you are new to my channel then you will see haul videos quite frequently popping up here um, I did a US haul recently for things that I bought while I was in America Sephora, Kate Spade, Tory Burch etc um, I frequently do ASOS hauls, Topshop hauls, River Island hauls, um, so yeah, if you are new then definitely hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my videos, I usually do around two a week, fashion, beauty, travel, that kind of thing. Let's get started with ASOS and potentially I will save Topshop for another video. So I'm going to start by opening one of the boxes, I'm going to put the other box on the floor because I have got no room on this bed. <laughs> okay. Box number one, and this is the lighter box of the two, so hopefully we can speed through this. These literally were delivered this morning, so this is major first impressions. Also, I'm so impressed that with ASOS Premier, if you order on a Sunday, they will still be delivered on a Monday. So I ordered these yesterday, which was a Sunday, um, at around 8pm in the evening, and they still arrived at 10 o'clock this morning. So ASOS, you amaze me. Okay, a lot of this stuff is actually for Charlie, so let's get rid of those boring boys t-shirts. Charlie always orders men's t-shirts from ASOS because I think they're around like £7 and they fit him really well. Um, so if you know any guys that are kind of like muscly, rugby player size, but don't want things to be too baggy, ASOS t-shirts are really good. Okay, this is stuff for me. Ooh, ooh. Okay, so it looks like this box has been full of the smaller slash accessory pieces for me. There's a black box which says ASOS. Ah, okay, I remember what this is now. I wasn't sure what it was. But this is a little watch from New Look. So this, I think, was under £20. I picked it up because I thought it was such a good bargain. And a very classic design. So I'll show you a close-up of this now. So as you can see, it's a beautiful brown leather strap with these gold clasps which attach onto the face, which is quite an unusual design. Um, and then you've got this beautiful rose gold face, very classic style, and I really love the slim strap as well. It doesn't actually say how much it was on here. It really annoys me how ASOS never put the prices on, but I think this is a really beautiful, very simple, classic design. And I thought for the price, this was really, really good. So looking forward to wearing that one. I'll probably take this with me on holiday tomorrow. Um, and I think I'll get a lot of use out of this because it's just so classic. I also picked up a couple of NYX lipsticks. I never know if that's the right way to say it. Is it NYX or NYX or NYX? I don't know. But basically I went to Ascot a couple of weeks ago and a girl, another blogger there called Lydia, she was also wearing, or she was wearing um, the most beautiful lipstick and I asked her what it was and it was this. So thank you Lydia for your recommendation. I have picked up this uh, from ASOS. I think it was around like £5.99 so not too expensive at all. And it's a soft matte lip cream and it's a beautiful matte colour but according to Lydia they're really 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 comfortable to wear. So I'm really looking forward to giving this a try. I've got the shade Cans and I will insert a swatch here so that you can see the colour of this. I'm really, really, really looking forward to wearing this because I've heard really good things about the Nooks lip colours. And then we have a beach bag. This is going to really ruin the lighting of this video. But it's a very simple, classic straw beach bag with these tassel details on the kind of oh, there we go, leather pocket over the front. So I thought it made it very kind of 70s boho, almost a little bit Chloe-ish. Um, and it just looks a lot more expensive and designer than it actually was. I really like the fact that it has this closure because it just makes it a little bit more secure. I can tell these tassels are really going to annoy me though. Um, and oh, I've just seen it's by the brand Pimkey, so it's not actually an ASOS own brand one. 
and it's got a little pocket here for your phone and also a zip pocket inside which would be good for maybe your mobile or keys or anything that you don't want to be in this main section because it's absolutely huge so plenty of room for my towel, my book, my camera, all that kind of stuff which you take with you on the beach on holiday and I'll probably also use this for my hand luggage. Yeah these tassels are definitely going to get annoying and I'm going to be really OCD about them being neat and straight but I think it's worth it because this is such a beautiful design. And then we have a couple more accessories, one of which is this beautiful choker necklace which I thought looked very Chanel. It's gold flowers with a little pearl in the middle and I didn't really like those ribbon style chokers that seem to be everywhere um, but I thought this one was a lot more elegant and would just look really really beautiful with a white play suit so I'll give this a try with a few of the outfits that I'm taking on holiday with me and I think it will look really really delicate and very elegant as well and hopefully it'll look more expensive than it was because this was ASOS own brand so really not too expensive at all which is wonderful. And then last thing from that first box is this little gold starfish makeup bag which I did not need but I just thought you have to have a specific holiday makeup bag and this one is a really good size plus it's rose gold it has starfishes on it so really really perfect for holidays um, it's kind of like a weird crackle material I don't know if you can hear it but the the starfish are almost 3d which could get a little bit annoying but we will stick with it I don't actually know why I've gone so crazy for holiday shopping because my two main holidays have already happened and I've only got one left um, which is only for three days and that's tomorrow so maybe I need to book a few more holidays so I can wear the rest of this stuff. Right, where should we start? So first thing that I can see is this towel. Now this is actually a new look brand towel but I picked it up from ASOS. Um, I think this was around £12 and palm print is just so in fashion at the moment. It's all over my Instagram and yeah for £12 I thought this was really really fab. So it's a great size towel, you've got these multicoloured palm prints all over it. It's really nice and soft and then you've got the textured side on the other side. There's not really that much more I can say about it, it's just a really nice towel, really good price and a really lovely pattern so I'll definitely be taking that one with me to Mykonos tomorrow. Then we have a blue jersey dress and in my head I thought this was going to look really beautiful and elegant and just fit really really nicely but what I'm going to do is I'm going to try this on with my vlogging camera and let you know how it fits. So here we have the first dress, the blue one, and I have to say I love how this fits. It's a really beautiful material which is just really body hugging, you can see it just fits me really really beautifully. It would be nice if I had a bit of cleavage but we all know that that does not exist and I think this colour is really flattering. Um, you've got a little pocket here and another pocket there. It's not going to be very forgiving if you eat anything, I don't know what that lump is. I think it's part of my stomach. Um, but yeah, I think it's really lovely, but I'm just not sure when I would wear it. It's a very elegant length. It's quite mother of the bridey. Um, yeah, I just don't know when I'd wear it. That's the only issue. But it fits so beautifully, and I think it's so elegant. Um, oh, there's a tie at the back, which I didn't actually notice. So maybe you could tie it at the front. Let's have a look. I've tried really hard to do a beautiful bow, but this material is just not doing it very nicely and I feel like that really ruins the shape, it kind of cuts you in half as opposed to this which is fairly elegant. So I wonder if you could tie it at the back but it's one of these that the material really wants you to bring it round, maybe if I double it round, let's see. So that's better, maybe this is how it's supposed to be. Um, but it still kind of cuts you in half a little bit but let me know in the comments if you can think of any occasions where I might wear this or if you think you should keep it. It feels so comfortable, like I really want to love it, just where am I going to wear it? Next is another item of clothing and this is actually the piece that made me want to make this ASOS order. So it's a little play suit from Misguided and I've been buying a lot of Misguided from ASOS recently just because the prices are so good and I find myself wearing them an awful lot when I'm on holiday. Once again I'm going to try this on with my vlogging camera so you can hear my first impressions on the fit etc. I so wanted to love this play suit but something about it is just not quite right. So this is the Misguided one. Um, I mean it's not bad at all, it's just something not quite as nice about it as other play suits that I've got from Misguided. So because I've got a couple of really similar things, I don't think I'm going to keep this one. Um, but if you don't have similar things then 
I think it's still gorgeous. I really like the um, the eyelash detail on the little shorts. I think that is gorgeous. I do quite like this top area, but your bra is visible through here, which is not ideal. And it kind of reminds me of triangle bikini tops. But I do also really like the t-shirt sleeve style. Here's a um, full length. So yeah, it is lovely, but because I've got two very similar, um, I think I'm gonna send this one back. But let me know what you guys think, because it is very cute. Oh, I don't know, maybe I'll keep it. <gasps> let me know. Now I have got a couple of pairs of sunglasses. This I thought was going to be a really expensive pair because they're in a really kind of fancy um, pouch but actually they're misguided which means they're around 10 or 12 pounds. I will leave all the links below to everything so if you like anything and want to check the prices because clearly I'm quite useless at remembering them, I'll leave all the links as always in the description box below. So here's my first pair from misguided, they're quite an unusual shape, they're not quite round, they're not hexagonal, um, but I thought they were again very 70s, boho-ish, so I thought these were really lovely. I need to take these off otherwise I'm going to like pick. Um, yeah, I thought these were really really good for the price and I just love having new pairs of sunglasses when I go on holiday because they really finish an outfit and make it look much more glamorous in my opinion. And I'm really impressed by this little pouch that they come in. It's like a pink velvet pouch, which I love. Then we have another pair of sunglasses, and these I believe are ASOS own brand. So these I think were around £30, but again, links will be down below. Um, and I really like the design on these, if I remember correctly. Yeah, so they're a very pale tortoise shell, and tortoise shell sunglasses are my absolute favourite. And I really like the paler style of these. I think they suit blondes a lot more, they're a little bit um, softer on the face, if that makes sense get rid of those ones again so yeah I think these are actually quite big on my face but I do love big sunglasses so let me know what you guys think of these ones okay this one I'm really really excited about and this was another thing that it was fairly expensive so I did um and ah about this quite a lot so you have to let me know your honest opinion on this one and it is a beautiful handbag by Ted Baker so I haven't actually bought anything from Ted Baker in quite a long time but I don't really have Oh, that's such a lie. I was going to say I don't really have a summery handbag, but then I have my Valentino, so maybe this is a little bit excessive. But I thought this design was so stunning. It's a pale pink, you've got the Ted Baker rose gold bow here, and then almost like a hand-painted design. There's these beautiful flowers, hopefully you can see it with the lighting. But it's really, really stunning. And then there's this very sturdy handle along the top there. You've got rose gold details like you always get with Ted Baker. So there's rose gold um, links here to connect the handle. You've got a leather kind of um, magnetic clasp here which keeps the bag more secure. And then in the middle you've got this little Oh, I wonder if you can remove this, that would be so cute if you can. Yes, I think you can, that is amazing. So actually this is two bags in one because the middle section is this very slim envelope clutch with the rose gold zip so I could keep my passport or my purse. Um, oh my gosh, it's even got, this is what I love about Ted Baker, they always have all the details are really really beautifully done which kind of justifies the high price point so within the clutch alone you've got the beautiful rose gold details and inside it's got the same floral <laughs> hit myself in the face it's got the same floral design as the outside of this bag which hopefully you can see but it's really really stunning so you could use the bag without this middle section but it does pop it into there um, and I think yeah so it doesn't have any more zippy compartments but it does have a shoulder strap as well so overall a very very beautiful handbag I think because of the price I think this was around 130 pounds I'm gonna have to make sure I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this because otherwise it is very expensive but for the detail of this bag I think it is worth it the next couple of pieces in the box are shoes I can't actually remember what shoes I've ordered so this is gonna be a bit of a surprise ah, okay so these are some really beautiful espadrille style shoes and they've got this gorgeous floral detail on the toe which I think is absolutely beautiful but these look way too big so I wear a size 36 but maybe it's you know it does say three on the top there maybe it's a point to make them look bigger but I thought these would be so gorgeous for making last because those cobbled streets you don't want to be wearing any heels and it's all about the flat shoes so I thought these would look so stunning so I need to try these with a few of my outfits but this detail is just so so beautiful and if I'm not wrong these were around £12, so an absolute bargain, but once again, don't take my word for it, have a little look down below if you like them, because knowing me, they probably were not £12 at all, but something in my head tells me that they were a really, really good price. 
We have another Nooks lipstick just floating around the bottom of this bag. That could be very easy to miss, so I think they need to package their beauty products a little bit better if they're going to stick them in the boxes. Um, but this one is called San Juan, so I thought this would be a really beautiful coral for wearing on the beach. and. I just think coral looks so stunning when you have a tan, so I thought I'd pick that one up as well because they're such a good price. And finally in that box is another pair of shoes, this time a pair of wedges, and this pair have a blue and white kind of marble print design on the strap and on the ankle strap. And I picked up a pair of wedges because I just think they're so lovely to wear on holiday, they're very leg lengthening, but as I mentioned it's cobbly most places in Greece, so wedges are pretty much the only heels you can get away with, so I'm going to try these on, hopefully they're comfortable and if they are then they'll definitely be coming with me. And finally we're moving on to the bag which by the feel of it is only clothing. I don't think there's any more shoes or accessories so let me tip all of that out. I have not got a clue what this is. Pink item. I think this might be a pink dress. Let's have a little look. Oh yes, I remember this now. So this is a beautiful dress. It's ASOS own brand and it's got these cutout details on the side which are not going to be very clear unless I try this on. So once again, let me try it on for you and I'll let you know what I think. Okay, not quite what I was expecting. Um, beautiful, but not what I was expecting. This would need a little bit of tailoring. It needs pinching in at the waist there. It's got this ginormous tag saying you cannot return it once you've worn it, obviously. I uh, really like these cutouts. So there's like the back angle, but this is definitely like a bridesmaid's dress. This is not the kind of dress you could wear to, I don't know, not many occasions you could wear this. Maybe a prom dress. It is stunning. Like I really like the cutouts, I think that's really flattering, um, but I mean, yeah, it's definitely a prom dress or a bridesmaid's dress, and I'm not going to be a bridesmaid or going to a prom anytime soon, so sadly this is going to have to go back, but if you have got a prom coming up or you are going to be a bridesmaid, then this is stunning, and I think it could be tailored very easily to fit you perfectly, so I would need my shoulders taking up maybe an inch, or not quite an inch, and I would need the waist pinning in just the tiniest bit so it fits snugly, and then it would be so stunning. I wish I had an occasion to wear this because it really is beautiful, need some heels on, but sadly I don't, so it's going to have to go back. This next one is really going to ruin the lighting of this video, but I will show you quickly anyway. It's a t-shirt from Oasis, and I really love that ASOS stocks Oasis, because it's not a brand whose website I normally visit, but a lot of their things I love. So it's really nice to see them in the ASOS new in section. Um, so this is a plain white t-shirt with beautiful fluted sleeves. It says on the back it was £35, so not a bad price for the kind of thing that I'm sure I will get a lot of use out of. So once again, let me try it on and show you. I thought I was going to love this t-shirt, but sadly I'm very underwhelmed. Um, the material just seems like it's going to crease so badly. I know it's just come out of the box, but I still feel like it should not be this creased. And because of this, the sleeves just don't fall right. It's such a shame because this, and it's also too long, like it should be there. Um, but yeah, it has everything going for it, it should be gorgeous but sadly, I'm disappointed. Next is another Oasis piece, and how cute is this pattern? I absolutely adore these pink candy stripes. I think these with white shorts, for example, is gonna look so, so, so cute. You can't really see it too clearly, so I'm just gonna show you me trying it on. I love this top, so the colors are just absolutely stunning. The pink and the white stripes, I love, they're so me. I think it looks so nice with white jeans, with white shorts as well, it would look really beautiful. Love this ruffle detail. I think this is the kind of thing I'll be wearing so much over the summer. Hopefully it warms up in the UK so that I can wear it here, otherwise I'll be saving this for some nice summer holidays. It definitely needs an iron, um, which is slightly annoying that it's that kind of fabric, but this is so beautiful. I might take the sleeves up an inch, just because it can be a bit revealing with the old underwear, so yeah, I think if I take the sleeves up just a tiny bit, this is going to be absolutely perfect. Okay, this next one is really funny because basically I saw it and I added it to my basket with the full intention of wearing it in a salsa style photo so that I could be the red salsa lady emoji and it is this very flamenco-ish orangey red dress. So you've got this very typical Spanish kind of ruffly sleeve detail, you've got a v-neck and ruffles going all the way down the middle, but it feels like an awful lot of fabric so I'm intrigued to try this on. 
I'm just not sure when I would wear it, so let me know what you think when I try it on as to whether I should keep it or not. Is it worth it just for the Instagram photo to say that I am the red emoji lady? Okay, this is hilarious. It is so low cut. Like, I have no idea what underwear you would wear with this. I'm really disappointed in the low cutness of this. But if you are willing to sew it together, maybe you have like an emoji party coming up, in which case you can be the Spanish lady, or if you've got a Spanish salsa party or something. I also feel like I look like a prisoner, like from Orange is the New Black or something because of the color. So sadly, I am slightly disappointed with this. It does have some nice uh, slits, so it can be quite sexy if you've got a little salsa date to go to um but yeah sadly not for me and last but not least we have a bikini and not just any bikini this is a marble bikini so i have been absolutely loving high-waisted bikinis recently i find them so flattering if you've just had lunch and your tummy is possibly not as flat as it could be they just hide a multitude of sins and i thought this one was absolutely gorgeous so not only is it high-waisted but it also has these straps which you can wrap around your tummy up to your waist i guess so i think this is going to look really really cool on i'm not going to try this because tmi but if i've taken any photos of myself wearing it on holiday i'll insert them here if you don't see any photos and it means that it didn't look that good so i probably sent it back um but yeah so these are the bottoms nice and high-waisted and then this top actually looks like a child's top it looks so tiny i don't know if that's going to cover very much but um it would be very good for tan lines so yeah this is the matching top it looks like quite a sporty style which usually quite suits me so I'm looking forward to giving that a try. So that's everything that I picked up from ASOS and in the aim of not making this video super 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 long I'm going to film my Topshop haul separately so check back in a few days if you'd like to see what I picked up from Topshop because there are so many gorgeous pieces. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and as always leave me your comments in the little section below let me know what you like, what you think I should definitely keep, what you think I should send back um, and I hope you don't mind this more casual style of video as I I said the lighting's not great and I'm trying a new way of filming with the vlog style clips of me trying things on so hopefully you found that quite useful to see more of an in-depth review of them that way but anyway give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're new and I'll see you next time bye bye